Hello everyone, my name is Reclusive Z, and we are back for another Seven Days to Die series. This is a custom generated world, it's, uh, Last Bastion, all one word, all lowercase. That'll be the name of the series, Last Bastion, because I'm going to uh, try and carve my way into the side of a mountain at some point and make a base out of it. Um, I did have, uh, I did, I decided to restart the series because the uh, 1.0 experimental series I made was basically built just like the beta and experiment to see if I could make uh, seven days to die videos and if anybody would watch them and I learned a bit now I'm going to try and make them properly. Uh, difficulties been maxed, zombies and blood moons are up to 128, animals are up to 128. Just want to see what happens with uh, things the way they are. I figure what better way to do it than uh, this. Well, that's early chicken. I would attack said chicken if uh, they had the proper tool. Should. I want to go blades this time instead of my normal, which is sledgehammers or piles. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a blade route, blade dancers route. Oh, that gave me bones. Bone knife. Let's get harvest small stones. Is there a rock? There's a rock. But yeah, I may uh, spend my time living out in the wilderness. Things are uh, probably going to be extremely dangerous from this point forward. As I said, it's max difficulty. So I have no real idea how anything is going to go with this series. Get my Jeepers Creepers look on. Keep harvesting and collecting and collecting and harvesting. Make a wooden club. These things are gonna be, as I said, difficult, so it's probably gonna be... You know, I've never really gone with clubs. Could do a club build, but clubs would put me yeah, right back into the strength category. I don't know if I wanna do that. I think being in the agility category would be all right. Getting to parkour is gonna be important. Let's make arrows. I need feathers. Yay, all right. Experience is on 200% uh, to try and op offset the, uh, there's the trader traders over there. Super high difficulty. Let's put, all four of these beginner points into the top of agility. And then we will uh, rank that up. We'll go into parkour, then we'll go into archery, and then we'll start breaking out into the other categories. Should be enough wood right now. Build a couple of blocks. Those are building, harvest up more. Because I have a feeling wooden blocks are going to really be my saving grace as uh, time goes on. Is that all the enemies can jog currently during the day, so they're slightly faster than they used to be. And they're on max difficulty. Which has already got me limited. Armor's not really any good as it is. And I also lowered the loot to 50%. So not only are things harder, but loot is more... Huh. Well, loot's supposed to be on 50%. Get upstairs, because fighting her on the low ground is a bad idea. Or, I mean, on a elevated. I have the high ground Nanakin, but I get my legs bitten. Fresh experience. See if I can get any honey out of this real quick. Nope, I'm gonna have to keep uh, cracking into those. 
need honey just in case if I get infected. Uh, torch is going to be important. I think that's good enough to block her. Uh, noon. Server crashed. Whoops, I forgot my server set to restart at noon. Whoops. All right, after the quick server crash, we're back. Let's uh, take back off where we were. Well, kind of, sort of, where we were. It's gonna block this door. How you bitch! How fucking dare you! <sighs> Always fucking something with these zombies. I think wandering around in the wilderness is probably gonna be my best bet for survival. I have a feeling if I go to a city, I'm gonna get munched. Just because I said there's there's more than the standard amount of zombies. But I really want to go to a city and start uh, the trader quests. Go over here, you electric boogaloo assholes. Yeah, man. Play with me over here. No. You do not get the Spider-Man. I'll bleed you like a pig. I have no idea where the second one went. She sounds nearby. Why are you in the fireplace? Why should I not lock you in a fireplace? Place. What did it do to you? Leave it alone. It keeps us warm in the winter. It's gonna keep stabbing you in the ass. Highly inefficient. But what what did the fireplace do to you? Where did it touch you? I don't think they're gonna answer. Hornmeal? Already? Oh, for God's sakes. Cornmeal pops up early. Hooray. All right. Um, I need a torch back. When in doubt, they're always in the rafters. When in doubt. Stand up, you jack-in-the-box asshole. Mm, kill zombies. Right, well, let's uh, go with another deep cuts.
Whack. Uh oh, fuck. You know, I'm half tempted to install a health bar mod just to see how much health these guys actually have. Still on clubs, huh? You didn't think the game wants me to play with clubs. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably turn this into just a low range safe house right now. As I said, as much as I, I mean, I should really go do trader missions. Oh, chicken. Gotta aim higher. Oh, that was my last arrow. Never mind. I need, uh, I need nests. I need feathers. That's what I need. Any more of these? I do. Yep, gonna need more wood. Oh, there's a bow coming at me. He'll be fun. So I'll fight him in a second. Gonna go with the old cat on a box method of doing this. Is everything so straight up dangerous? Not gonna stop me from stabbing you in the noodle. I'm a noodle jabber. Get noodled. I mean, I could go invite Mr. Power Company to come play, too. Oh, you're far closer to getting jabbed. You know, it's kind of suspenseful not knowing how much health they have, but at the same time, I think it's way more suspenseful to know how much health they have. I may do that. But yeah, I've got a bunch of mods running in this game. One of them's uh, Jake Meisters, or Minsters. Not sure how you say his name fully. Um, UI. And I've got, you know, um, Craft Anywhere. I've got uh, Power Rings and Relics that I'll eventually probably find. I've got a Weapons mod. I stuck away from Vehicle mods right now just because they've put so much effort into changing the vehicles. Really? They're just... Damn it. It's just far enough away. There we go. So I should eventually start stumbling across... Uh, why is that house floating? Why is another fucking zombie? I should start stumbling across uh, new weapons and... Some relics. Some rings that do things. Just stuff that make the gameplay different. It's seven days. It's been in. It's it's been in develop from development for like twelve years. Might as well spice things up a little bit. But I don't think this house offers any loot, by the looks of it. So I think I'm gonna go with my initial plan, and that is just head to the trader right now. Get to the trader. Start the trader missions. Starting to notice a dramatic increase in the zombies as I get close to this town. Starting to notice a dramatic increase. Remember, correct? Ow! Let myself get distracted. And I got whacked for it. Go ahead and attack that, I guess. Oh, now he's moving. Yeah, I thought that's what was gonna happen. Okay. Enough of this nonsense. Back on my back on my box. Enough of you stair-stepping your way to me off of another dead guy. Thank you. Problematic asshole. Do I have any eggs? I do have eggs. I'm gonna eat the eggs. So that's a military checkpoint over there. That's... That's immediate bad news. That's a large complex. That's immediate bad news. I'm gonna need honey at this rate. 
And another one into deep cuts, cause... Oh, I gotta go to five, huh? Okay, then we're gonna go into parkour. Jesus. There's so many of them as I get closer to the city. Alright. That one's handled. Let's get to the trader, sell a bunch of this crap in my inventory. Stuff that ain't worth money. Get rid of the cornmeal, get rid of those, get rid of those. That is a... Oh, is that a biker? Nope, we're going around the front. This this game is going to be the death of me. I could feel it. I don't know what the hell. I'm going to chop up. I'm going to get some plants for the trader. He's got to bury me. I'm going to go into endurance and start taking like double crop harvesting and animal harvesting after I uh, get parkour to another level. Yeah, that's a military complex. That's a checkpoint, I bet. I've let myself run out of build blocks. There's gonna be towers of blocks everywhere I go. As I try to... Oh my. You know, I bet there's wonderful amounts of loot in there, but at the same time, death. Hello. I don't know many campers who don't... Ooh, wow. Um, let's make 50 of those that don't take their loved, beloved roughers with them. I can make military barriers? Hmm. Getting hungry. Probably get some medical supplies out of that. More medical is always good. Do I have any more eggs I can eat? Yes. Means I can't boil them right now. That's a bad guy. That's empty. Up on a box. Can I make cobble? I need clay and small stones. Oh, easy enough to get those. Nice. I'll take an instant kill. Well, just about an instant. I'll take two. He dropped loot. He dropped a lot of loot. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, 10% chance to cause a bleed wound on a regular attack, and I'm already doing bleeding. I'll, fuck it, I'll take it. Wow. And four bites. Loot is at 50%, so I must just be rolling well. Moe's Grocery. Get my inventory cleared out a little bit, and uh... How much, how, what difficulty is Moe's? It's a one. I can handle that. No need for me to get my ass kicked this early. That is one of the relics. Ooh. Sockets into chest armor. Gain swift charge on hitting an enemy. 5% attack speed per swift charge. 5% movement speed per swift charge. Swift charge lasts for 8 seconds. Effect is doubled when using blades or knives. Oh. Did I just get a stand? Am I gonna aura? aura? Yeah. I kind of like the relics and the rings. They're kind of... I used to play Unreal Tournament back in the day in one of the mods that uh, my father installed back when I was a young man. We all did co-op stuff. It was uh, a relics mod for Unreal Tournament. I'll find, but yeah, one of them was a relics mod and it added like an axe that did quad damage permanently as long as you held it, one that caused you to regenerate health, one that would teleport you away if you died type stuff. It was, they were interesting mods. They added a different level of uh, play to the game. You best, I'd shake your hand, but I bet you got dysentery. What's the matter? Can't find what you're looking for. So let's get rid of that, that. There's something beating on a wall. I don't. A sale is a sale. 
I don't Even if like... it is to a scumbag like you. I don't like the sound of any of that. So we are going to quickly clear out our inventory. Keep the fourth bites. This is just stuff I really cobblestone rocks don't need right now. No refund. Deal's done. Now beat it, fucker. Jesus, rock easy, man. Got anything worth looting? I can't remember if the zombies can beat their way in or not. I think the most they can make is noise. I think Rex area is technically safe-ish until nightfall. So I've gained a bit of an edge. I've never heard them make that noise before. They give the zombies new noises. Well, it definitely seems to have upped my speed considerably. All right. Hardcore, let's go. Yeah, so just a lot of this stuff I don't need right now. You know, I could probably put it in a box. You on your way out. I don't on, like to supplies. get moving, Let's do that. Is. And he's got a cooking pot. Cooking pot would be nice. Oh, some right. days I don't even know why I open the doors. It is 1513. The digging spot is relatively nearby. Drink and eat and hope I come across more feathers and stuff. Jab, 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 jab. Okay, and that's an even bigger fat man. Let's uh, get things fortified. Yeah, I figured this was gonna be a bit of a tightrope fight. Bleeding you. as to just how much health they have. All right, let's do this proper. But let's still do it proper. Should be directly underneath me. Notice it should be, not that it would be. But just in case, I'm gonna make a small exit point because I can jump two meters now. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I'm stuck in a hole. What the fuck? Well, this is odd. Hi, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Sneak attack. Okay, glad that played out. Hey, Rack, I'm back. Can you hear me, Rack? You know I'm here? Damn. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to pay you now that um, you did it. In agility, so technically pipe machine guns and pistols both work. So let's go machine gun, hog foot. Well, that would technically probably give me food. 
Oh, look. Well, don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Go do the goddamn job. Unless I run into a grace immediately. Where the hell is over there, huh? If I run into a grace immediately, I'll basically just be ended. This down here is my emergency. At least I got a bit more ammo for it. Ah, too close. Fucked up the two-step game. Ooh. Level five. Well, um, I want to at least get into the third level of this. So let's boost agility one more time. We'll go into deep cuts one more time. And that'll at least spec me into damage. And then I'll hide out in the wilderness to hopefully avoid higher uh, numbers of zombies. Need some honey. Got some honey. Any more of you carrying relics for me? Eat another egg or two. Which will heal me. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Where the hell am I? Um, you know what? We're going high. That's what we're doing. Yep. So, let's wake them up. Because I'll clear this out twice. It's early game clearing... Clearing areas twice is a good idea. Especially with this difficulty. Gotcha. All right, now I probably should drop down just enough to wake everything up. That is a biker. It is too early for one of you. As long as you won't jump a fence, I'm going to stab you in the head. Because it is way, way too early. Oh, that hurt. I should have backed up. That was dumb. That was my fault. I got a little too sad happy. Fifteen hundred. No. <laughs> Foolishly threw myself down into the. Oh wait, is it only one of you? There's only one of you. I can handle one of you. Make a lot of noise for a solo. I mean, technically, this would be a decent enough of a starter base out in the wilds. Because I don't think I'm going to make it back in time. That's new ammo, so there's new guns around. Do more damage to coyotes. Hooray. That's what I need. Yeah, I can hop out of here easy enough. like this bitch is outside. Yep, she is. And she's just beating herself up on barbed wire. 
that guy's normal. Now this should be by all intents and purposes a trap, so. That's a single bow down. I think they're bows. Potato. Oh, really? hit me in the back. Sometimes they just get a lucky lunge on you. And then you can follow me upstairs. Fucking really? Two of them out here. Get deep cuts up one more. Much as I want to start this. I don't know if that's a good idea. You know, as well, I'm pretty much going to be hunkering down out here. How many are up here? Hmm. Nice pants. I'm going to wake you up first. That's down. Wake you up. Come here. I'm gonna jab you. Fucking really. I'm seriously over under or underestimating the reach. Shot shells. There's no biker up here as far as I can tell. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up living out here for a little while. Mm, fort bites. Fort bite. That's oh, my second set of fort bites. I have a feeling I'm gonna make it back to wreck in time, and I don't want to be in that town because I have no idea how much is gonna spawn under this difficulty. As I said, there's there's 128 zombies that can now be in the game. Yeah, just slightly too close to that barbed wire. Come on, Huckleberry, get stabbed in the head. Shoot you in the head a few times. Oi. I, I, I don't know what to do with these guys at times, you know? As far as things are going, the game is still fun. It's slow because of the difficulty I set myself under. I mean, nothing I shouldn't handle. Talk about lucking out, man. I mean, really. There we go. Playing it safe with the dead men. Surprise biker he came out of the fucking ground like the undertaker like what the hell I must have done just enough to avoid tripping him Jeez 
Like, what the hell? It really did. I must have just done enough to avoid setting him off in here, because this is that sealed room. So he was in a bathroom this whole time. Food? Hooray! Well, unfortunately, it is nighttime, and as dangerous as shit is right now, I don't want to fight anything at night. Nor do I really want to hide like a bitch. I mean, I could technically s start digging. I did say I wanted to make a mountain-esque base. Yep, that's the bell tolling for night. Means that everything that was slow and manageable is now fast and hellish. How many of these will fall if I stand on them? As I could technically, uh, make a small base up here. I mean, I've got plenty of room, plenty of cloth and polymer right here. How do I want to go about this while everything is in its murder mode? Because I've never played like this. It's our storage. Let's get a land claim currently. Just, just something. And just get everything and anything thrown into here right now. need these. It's a different kind of locking mode. Can't really cook anything because I don't have any. Can't boil water, funny enough. Because I need a pot. Uh, yeah, nope. Need a cooking pot. Charred meat will just dehydrate me. Making an eggs would be my best bet, but I need, I need to get, wow. Gonna make a dew collector. I cannot. And I can't see shit out here right now. My health has taken a pretty sizable hit. I guess I could roam around just near the current hideout. I've got plenty of blocks, so I could always build up. So you're gonna build it up. Oh yeah, I left my uh, arrows. Really not fucking hit you? Oi. There we go. I say that's getting a little ridiculous. What? Okay. That's, that's neat. Um, yeah, that was dumb of me. Boink, boink. Guess I'll just uh, go about collecting resources while it's dark out. Got a whole fucking army with me. So many of them at night. Holy crap. No more 
more into this, it's time to go into endurance and uh, we're gonna wanna probably go into leaky gut and healing factor. Self healing will not work when you're out of food or water. Well, um, yeah, I guess gut it is. So we'll pump a couple of points into this enough to get pain tolerance. Uh, it takes a three, five, get this at least up to a five because five seems to be. What the hell was that noise? Is yeah, parkour is good enough for now, and I'm bleeding them well enough. Let's 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 go with this one. I need to get endurance up right now. Why did it sound like a cow died out here? I can't believe how many fucking zombies there are out here at night. That was just three that came bolting. Night is not safe in any way, shape, or form. There's another zombie over there. Trying to survive with minimal loot is uh, a little friggin' rough. I don't need to reinforce the... It's a chicken. I want that chicken. I'm gonna waste the gunshot on a chicken. Missed. Okay. All right. Ooh, bunny. It's a bunny and a chicken. But do I dare waste limited arrows, bullets, or bullets on fucking wildlife? Really? <laughs> Go ahead, join your friend. All right, it's two meals. Somehow this jackass only knows how to make chocolate meat. Cooking is not a hard concept. Not a fan of that. Is that a dog or a deer? I think that's a deer. That's a spider. Where the hell is there a spider? out here this early. I thought that was a dog. No. Why are you in the... Cool flip, dude. Sick trick. Can I down this deer in one shot? Nope. Certainly gonna be weakened though. Wait for it to get out of panic mode potentially. Nope, it's just nope, there it is. Might be able to finish that off with a bow. And at least I'd have more meat. It's almost back to being daylight. That's probably where I'll call this video. I don't even know where that deer went. But I have to admit I am having fun. There's uh <laughs> so it's, it's it's different having like a literal uh last stand kinda mentality you know puff zombies everywhere and the fear of them so I, I really don't want to stray far from my current little stronghold i need food i need water i think i'm gonna have to buy a cooking pot from wreck no matter what i've almost got enough for 600 if i can buy a cooking pot that'll at least give me a start should probably take one perk into cooking just so i can start finding cookbooks which is under strength. Yep, I should probably take at least one into cooking while I'm trying to get into fortitude. This food's gonna be important. Gonna be way too important to ignore. Explore that uh, diner before I buy a cooking pot. Make sure there isn't a cooking pot in there. Cause I'd hate to buy one and then have two. I really would prefer to just have a no die series. Kind of the literal last bastion type deal. Just a quick theory. This should go out as soon as that's done cooking. That's not gonna get me anything, so I might as well break that. Rather hold on to whatever ammo I can find. 
Funny enough, that is a pipe machine gun, not a pipe SMG. There should be a pipe SMG in this game somewhere. That's one of the weapons that was added in with uh, the weapons mod is uh, he had a custom pipe SMG made. Izzy, I believe the mod is uh, created by. I hate to sell them, but I really don't need the forged steel or the forged iron right now. I literally would just rather have the cooking pot. Yep, it turns off on its own. What a perfect quality of life thing. Let's sell that because it's already going to burn me out of water. <clears throat> Might as well start my slow trek back to uh, wreck now that daylight's just about upon us. You're a little less threatening now. Not a lot, but a little. You fucking porcupine pin cushion quill. There we go. Now the daylight's around and these fuckers won't come running up on me immediately. Hey, Wreck, you finally awake? You wipe the sand out of your eyes, you old bugger? Grilled meat or cornbread. Grilled meat or cornbread. Well, I get more grilled meat and they both do the same thing, so I guess. Well, oh, cooking pot and a grill. That would be nice. Oh, three grand. Jesus. Look at you, wreck, you bastard. This will clean out my inventory real quick. Well, I'm Thank gonna go check and much. see if there's a and grill or a pot over fuck here. Yourself. If there's not a grill or a pot over there. I'll be back to buy potentially both of those. As well, uh, as well tank up a little bit. Some health back. Oh yeah, I leveled up again. Much as I want to keep going into this right now, I think being able to find cookbooks. Yeah. Will be pretty important. This hunger in this game will kill me just as quickly as being unprepared. My stamina and health are gone. Not going in the direct route. That's how you get lit up by a jump dog or up dog. <laughs> Or the random one outside. That one's taken care of. Let's drop down here real quick. Damn it! Something really. <laughs> you guys don't like to stay behind doors for some odd reason. Jab, jab. Stabby stab. Oh my god, I've turned into nifty. Hey, a cooking pot! I'm glad I didn't buy that. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I'll be back. I have a feeling that's gonna take too long as much as I want to break into it. <laughs> Suddenly couldn't back out of a door. Alrighty, it's 
paying off in dividends with food. Finish this one off and then uh, call it the end of the video. It's a good way to end the video. Cornered. Peas. Another cookbook. Boy, those are popping up fast now. Be able to make uh, bacon and eggs soon enough. I just need to uh, get the stuff to make a do collector. Knife guy. Handy. Oh, no. Lockpick. Knife making tools or uh, ingredients. Coffee. That's handy. Coffee is always good for emergencies and well, stamina rebuilding. But now I'm gonna come back and take these at some point. This is where shit gets wild. They very much. <laughs> want to block that temporarily. Good. Oh, hey. That's a neat trick. I'm gonna gain my stamina. I don't, uh, I'm in no rush. That one's dead. There's no need to rush. Rushing will get me killed. Panda King will get me killed. Farm boots are good. It's an armor crafter. Pretty sure that's everything in here. That's a level two knife. We're immediately stepping up in the world. We got a pot, we got a knife. We got a piss in, we got a pot to piss in and a knife to stab with. So that'll get that repaired and uh, yep, we're all good now. Probably end up going and uh, buying that grill. And we will call it there for day one. As we move into day two, it's 7 a.m. My slightly more jabby jabby knife. Rick, do you know I'm here? I'm too exhausted to stab your shit, Rick. But I will. So being a patron patron, Smells I... like dysentery. Being an asshat. Bob's Cafe, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Get all of this crap out of my inventory currently. I'll buy one grill. Hmm. You know, no, really, all I I don't really need the grill. Okay, I'm gonna buy the grill just in case. You know the drill, asshole. This game's gonna be difficult. No point in being unprepared. Be careful out there. You wouldn't wanna get hurt. We will do uh, Bob's Cafe when I come back. Good luck. But, yep, that's the end of the video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and my antics and the increased difficulty spike. And uh, I will catch you all in the next video.